Hey, hello everyone, I'm Shubhay and you're watching SDBZX YouTube channel and I'm back with another build video and this time Nahida build obviously and I'm not going to tell you um, what Nahida do, you already know but a very quick video if you are already watching too much video still confusing which artifact you should use, which substrate you should go for this video will help you a lot just let's go to the video for attribute uh, as you know Nahida gave free elemental mastery when you ascend so you, uh, you get an idea that uh, overall all, she need elemental mastery at the same time she also need uh, somewhat uh, somewhat amount of attack percentage uh, is kind of difficult to uh, you know, scale but, but uh, the model of the study is she need attack percentage and uh, elemental mastery as well so her stat should be focused on more elemental mastery than attack percentage and critical kit damage so <clears throat> let's go and talk about our weapon so everyone talking about different type of weapon right if you don't have faster weapon you, you want just to use poster weapon this weapon is the best weapon this is the one that you should use this is the best weapon you should use for nahida because uh, if just see the uh, passive and you will understand why and uh, this obviously will help you a lot and if you have uh, you know um, five star weapon the uh, the weapon that she need obviously go for her if you don't have you could have a kind of scrap like this one if i meant two if i'm five then obviously go for this one as well but i will tell you that this is the best weapon that you should go for or any elemental mastery weapon but if you wanna you know best i in my opinion this is the best weapon let's go and talk about the artifact now i i haven't completely built the artifact yet but as you get guess the idea you need four set of this uh what it is it called debut memories you need four set uh, if you want the best because uh, as Nahida de deal uh, most of the time uh, you know elemental damage and the damage is dendro so yeah more dendro damage the better passive is absolutely amazing she will deal the highest potential damage with with this uh, you can use the you know um, elemental mastery uh, one as well but i prefer this one because it's still more damage as a support build uh, and this is definitely uh, way to go and obviously you should go for hp here attack percentage here elemental mastery here and this is uh, you should go for um, i mean you should go for a higher dendro damage bonus not elemental mastery dendro damage bonus remember you go for uh, uh, here you go for uh, again elemental mastery do not go for crit damage um, that's um, uh, this i will uh, remove this as well. i mean this as you can see nothing I, i'm searching for more elemental mastery good build uh, the god piece and again substat should be focused on millimeter mastery if the first choice attack second choice and then whatever you get okay crit rate crit damage once again you can you should uh, focus this here dendro damage bonus because uh, your uh, e will deal more damage yeah because your e doesn't count uh, elemental reaction for multiple enemies only the enemy you are hitting so this is a, mm, this is a you know complicated you can use ele elemental mastery as well but your one hit character will increase the damage but other will not so i do not recommend it at all but if you, you can swipe it you know if you don't have uh, don't just stress about it constellation if you really want my opinion she has one of the best constellation for c1 c2 everything is absolutely monstrous constellation c0 nahida is like a broken unit so just guess c0 c1 c2 c3 will do like insane yeah. most broken unit ever uh, made by whoever so yeah you can go for it i do not recommend it but i will go for uh, c1 soon so yeah that's <laughs> the thing now the talent is a very important part to uh, understand because a lot of you guys think that uh, which um, will you should go for so very easy to say you have to level up this e uh, as soon as possible and then your elemental burst now you have to level up her you know normal attack as well because believe me or not her normal attack deal a good amount of damage and you have to use multiple time her normal attack in multiple field because yes this is how she actually plays so even though she is half dps her normal attack is like absolutely amazing apart from her previous predecessor gods like these two or this one even though don't need normal attack level up but in her case is completely different uh, you I, I i recommend to at least level 8 i will do triple con obviously but it's your choice but i will say crown this one and this one if you have the resource and this one the normal attack should at least be level 8 but in my case if you my opinion what will be my build complete triple count and i will make a complete build um, i mean complete uh, you know showcase video after i make like complete nahida uh, as i did my previous all my character so uh, don't have, we don't have to worry about it uh, it will come soon but this is the quick video uh, for those who are confusing watching multiple video at the same time yes that's it 
do not have to you don't have to you know go for crit rate crit damage if you are thinking no don't have to go for that at all because well just read some passive you will understand why i am talking or may already know so if you are you know confusing on artifact and weapon the main two thing i already pointed out i hope you understand what i am saying and what you need to do see ya until next time